It is Scorpio season, so yes, I'm happy. I'm open to whatever the universe positive has for me. Okay, all that negative shit, you can leave at the door. And it's almost my birthday. I'm very happy. Happy birthday, Scorpios, if you are a fellow Scorpio like me. I do want to say if you guys fuck with my channel, if you guys fuck with me, for a girl's birthday, if you want to bless the kid, then you definitely can. My cash app will be on the screen and in the description. And you guys can send me whatever. Send me a dollar. Send me $20. Send me a hundred if you bold. But buy me a drink. You know what I'm saying? Hey, buy me a drink. This video is a continuation of the previous video that I did. So you might want to check that out. So you can be all catched up with what we're talking about here in this video. And we are talking about dating Hawaii local boys. When I say Hawaii local boys, I'm speaking more geographically. I think that's, uh, hopefully that's the right word. I'm speaking geographically, demographically. I'm speaking specifically Hawaii boys. Because in Hawaii, there is a melting pot full of different ethnicities um hawaii local boys doesn't necessarily mean that they're all hawaiian but nevertheless thank you guys so much for watching thank you so much for supporting my channel and for being here if you are interested in this video today then stay to the end of the video like comment and subscribe follow your girl at hawaii underscore mommy and let's get started All right, ladies so <laughs> what is it like dating hawaii local boys um well it's fun but at the same time just as there is hoes in the 404 of atlanta georgia there is hoes in the 808 okay with hawaii local boys i think there is variations there is the hawaii local boy that you take a look at him he can be born and raised from the island, but you really can't tell. So kind of like how a lot of you local people look at me, like where the f is this from? Like she definitely ain't from Hawaii, this and that and the third. You know what I'm saying? That's how we would categorize those types of boys. On the other hand, there's the stereotypical Hawaii local boy that you definitely would know is from the island, okay? Like hands down, just from the accent alone, you would definitely know they are from the island or they have been on the island for a long time if you guys seen my previous video you would know that i stated that i had three boyfriends my whole lifetime okay so two of them were actually hawaii local boys and then the other one was like from texas or some shit. if you so happen to run into a hawaii local boy i think you'll have you a very good time because they are good men to date let me tell you why they are very humble but cocky at the same time very family oriented so they're good to build families with um they're very loyal and hard working loyal to the point where they'll attach your name to tell you it's real okay on the neck the back and wrist all of that stuff they're very adventurous they're very protective especially over family and over their girlfriends and stuff like that Take that how you want. Just by the way that they approach you, I feel like you'll know their intentions right off bat. Some of them may come off a little bit more <laughs> aggressive. Um, tell you, oh, so you pretty, oh, so what? You get boyfriend, so what? I can take you out. That type of stuff. A little bit aggressive, just a little bit, and a little bit off-putting. But um, the others will come to you as friends. They'll tell a joke. They'll be funny. They'll want to hang out more and stuff like that. They'll come to you more in a friend manner than the aggressive type of way. As I've stated earlier, I have dated local boys. However, the category two <laughs> of the local boy, I have not. They have approached me. They find me attractive, but I think they wouldn't necessarily bring me home. I can only speak from experience, so here's mine. When I was in eighth grade, I don't know if this counts because it was in eighth grade. I don't know if the, you know, relationships actually count back then, um, that young, but it's an experience, so I'm going to talk about it, okay? Uh, he was a Samoan boy. He necessarily wasn't my type because... Like, when I looked at him, I didn't find him attractive. He was a little on the chubbier side. But in the same token, like, he was really sweet. Like, he was really nice. He was kind of funny for, you know what I mean, a little bit. But um, he was he was nice to me. And we had a couple classes together and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay, whatever. So I gave him a shot. I don't know how someone 
families are, how strict Samoan families are. But I do know that some Samoan families don't like to date out of their race or they look at it some type of way when you're dating outside your race. Although I was a mixed girl and mixed with this and that and whatever, whatever, you are what you look like. So I was like the black girl in school, in middle school. I was like the only the only black girl that would hang out with all the Polynesians and shit. I gave him a shot, we talked, he sent letters, you know, all that cute shit. He used to walk me home, et cetera, et cetera. It was cool and all until I began to realize that he would be acting some type of way in front of other Samoan girls or other Polynesians, if that. So I would, you know, meet some of his friends, but not all of his friends, because I think he was ashamed of me. And the fact that I was the black girl, it was like, oh, why are you talking to her? Why you don't just talk to so-and-so? She's someone, or she's someone, she's someone. Why you gotta talk to the black girl? You know what I'm saying? I think he was just very ashamed. So when we would hang out in school, we would have to go like behind a building or stay in the classroom where there was barely anybody in there. <laughs> or um, like behind a building, cafeteria, you know, secluded areas where there really wasn't anybody other than the people that, that already knew that he liked me. So when I would walk in front or try to walk side by side with him, he would fall back, walk a little slower, tell me to walk forward, etc. Like uh, just all that weird shit. So I finally realized like he's ashamed of talking to a black girl so you know what i did i told him off to the best of my abilities in eighth grade okay if you like me then you like me and if you don't like fuck off so i stopped talking to him and then after that like he was being very stalkerish and he was like i'm sorry i'm sorry da, 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 da. and i was like no it's kind of too late and then i started talking to somebody else or whatever yeah this, this is eighth grade that's just one experience but from that experience i kind of feel like that's how boys kind of feel like they'll they think i'm cute yeah they want to hang out yeah they want to be friends they want to talk they want to do this and that and the third but i'm not bringing you home Another thing to note is that with some, you need to prepare to eat. Um, they love to feed you, okay? Because they love to eat themselves. They can eat a lot. So don't be like shy um, when he takes you out. Don't be shy, don't be modest. Literally order whatever you want, eat. Eat, 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 eat. You probably will get fat when you are dating a local boy if you don't watch what you eat or whatever because our food is just so fatty, it's so filling, involves a lot of rice. So if he takes you out to eat, probably nine times out of 10, it's somewhere not healthy. So um, as long as you love to eat, I think you'll love being with the local boy. This is just a little quick tip for the guys. If you're trying to date Hawaii local girls, weirdly, I don't know what happened, the dynamics, maybe it's just with the times, um, but Hawaii local girls seem to me to be less local and more Cardi B-ish, more Kim Kardashian-ish. They don't, they don't seem like those uh, tittle girls no more, like they, they even talk different. They even say the N word now. Like, I'm surprised. I'm just like, whoa. Like, a lot of my uh, friends that I grew up with, just straight to the girl, milk action, um, all of that stuff. Like, that's how they were. But now it's just like they either have this Kim Kardashian type of accent or. Like they talk very urban. <laughs> I don't know what it is, but guys be careful. There's a city girl, hot girl summer mentality in a lot of these local girls. They're just not the same. They're just not the same as the ones I knew before. It's just crazy how like social media, how pop culture 
is just influencing everybody around the world because these girls is just different. It's just different. It's crazy. That is all I have for this video. I'm about to skedaddle up out of here. And as you can see, my makeup matches the jacket. Hold on, let me put it on. Thank you guys so much for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know your experiences down below if you enjoyed this video or what have you. Don't forget to follow me at Hawaii underscore mommy. On my IGTV, I'm kind of doing a new segment where you guys can kind of get to know me a little bit more. Um, so that should be fun. And then I am going to be posting some birthday pics. If you want to see that and you're into that type of thing, then go ahead and follow me on social media at Hawaii underscore mommy on Snapchat and Instagram because I am there if I'm not here on YouTube. But nevertheless, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.